fast facts about every country in Africa, capital, currency, GDP, population, president and more. Hello Displorers, welcome back to another informative video presented to you by Displore and thanks for watching. In this video we shall be presenting to you some fun facts about every country in Africa. But first, if you are new here, welcome. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications so you don't miss out on any of our videos. Africa is the second largest and second most populous continent in the world about 30.3 million square kilometers, including adjacent islands. It covers 6% of Earth's total surface area and 20% of its land area. With a population of 1.3 billion spread across 54 sovereign countries, it accounts for about 16% of the world's human population. So without any further delay, here are some fast facts about every African country in alphabetical order. Starting off, we have Algeria, located in the northern part of Africa. Algeria is the largest country in Africa by surface area at 2,381,741 square kilometers. However, about 90% of the country is covered by the Sahara Desert. Its capital and largest city is Algiers. Algeria has a population of about 44.7 million people and the country has a nominal GDP of $183.6 billion. Arabic and Berber are its official languages and the country uses the Algerian dinar as its official currency. The current president of Algeria is Abdel Majid Tebboune. Moving from the north to the south, we have Angola. Angola is located in the west coast of Southern Africa, the country which got its independence from Portugal, 1975, and has a population of about 31.1 million people, and its capital and largest city is Luanda. Angola has a nominal GDP of about $124.6 billion, and its official currency is the Kwanza. The official language of the country is Portuguese, and the current president of Angola is João Lourenço. Angola is Africa's second biggest crude oil producer after Nigeria and the world's 14th biggest. From the south, we move to the West Africa, precisely to Benin. Benin got its independence from France in August 1960. The country has a population of about 11.7 million people and its capital city is Porto Novo. The official language of Benin is French and its currency is the West African franc. Benin has a nominal GDP of $11.8 billion and its current president is Patrice Talon. Going back to the south, we have the beautiful country of Botswana. Once the second poorest country in the world, Botswana has developed to becoming one of the richest, cleanest and most visited cities in Africa. Botswana got its independence from the United Kingdom in 1966 and the country currently has a population of about 2.3 million people and a nominal GDP of $19.6 billion. Its capital and largest city is Gaboron and its official languages are English and Sesuana. The official currency of Botswana is the Pula and its current president is Mogwitsi Masisi. Botswana is the second largest producer of diamond in the world and the first in Africa. Next we have Burkina Faso. Burkina Faso is a country located in the western part of Africa. The country got its independence from France in December 1658. Its capital and largest city is Ouagadougou and the country has a population of about 21.5 million people. Its official language is French and its current president is Rock Mark Christian Kobore. Burkina Faso has a nominal GDP of about $16.22 billion and the currency used in Burkina Faso is the West African franc. From west, we move to East Africa, precisely to the landlocked country of Burundi. Burundi got its independence from Belgium in 1962. Burundi has a population of about 11.8 million people and Jitega is the country's capital city. Kirundi and French are the country's official languages. The currency of Burundi is the Burundian franc and the country has a nominal GDP of $3.5 billion, making it the poorest country in the world. The current president of Burundi is Evarist Nyadin Simi. Now let's go to Central Africa and look at Cameroon. Cameroon, which is most often referred to as Africa in miniature, has English and French as its official languages, since it was colonized by both Britain and France. Yaoundé is the capital city and home to its president Paul Bia, who doubles as the oldest and second longest serving president in Africa. Cameroon, with a population of about 26.5 million, has a nominal GDP of $38.4 billion and the official currency of Cameroon is the Central African franc. Still in Central Africa, we move to Chad. Chad is a landlocked country with a population of about 16.3 million people. The country gained its independence from France in 1960 with French as its official language. Its capital and largest city is N'Djamena, which was named for the most expensive city in Africa in 2019. Chad has a nominal GDP of $11 billion and the official currency of the country is the Central African franc. Its current president Idris Berbi Idno is one of the longest serving presidents in Africa. Central African Republic is another Central African country which gained its independence on 13th August 1960 from France, 17 years before the coronation of its leader, the legendary Bokassa I. 
The CAR has a population of over 4.6 million people and a nominal GDP of $2.321 billion, as estimated in 2020, with its capital being Bangui. His Excellency Faustin Achange Tordera, who started off as an assistant lecturer of mathematics at the University of Bangui, has been president of the country since 2016 and got re-elected into office on 27 December 2020. Years of civil war have plagued, unfortunately, the country's economy. The Central African franc is the currency of the country, and as it stands, CAR is amongst the 10 poorest countries in Africa. Moving over to the west of Africa is the beautiful island nation of Cape Verde. Cape Verde comprises a group of islands of the Atlantic Ocean, west of Senegal, occupying a total area of just 4,033 square kilometers. Cape Verde has a population of about 544,000 people, with a nominal GDP of $2.042 billion. The currency used in Cape Verde is the Cape Verdean Escudo. Cape Verde's capital is Praia. Her official languages are Portuguese and the Cape Verdean Creole. George Carlos Fonseca is the current president of Cape Verde and has since been forcing the country in the direction of its motto, which is Unity Work Progress. Cape Verde has a stable economy and enjoys relative political stability amongst other African nations. Still in West Africa is a major economic player, Côte d'Ivoire. Known for having beautiful beach resorts, rainforests with a stunning nightlife, Abidjan on the Atlantic coast is the major urban center of the country. Its modern landmarks include Zingorat like Concrete La Pyramide and St. Paul's Cathedral. Côte d'Ivoire has a population of about 26.3 million people and Yamasukro is its capital city. Côte d'Ivoire, which is the largest producer of cocoa in the world, has a nominal GDP of $61.5 billion, with a thriving economy led by the tutelage of President Alassane Ouattara. Its currency is the West African CFA franc. Moving back to Central Africa is the Democratic Republic of the Congo, also known as Congo Kinshasa or DR Congo. It is the largest country in Sub-Saharan Africa and the second largest in all of Africa, occupying an area of 2,345,409 square kilometers, as well as being the 11th in the world. It has a population of about 106 million as of 2021, with a nominal GDP of $46.17 billion. The capital and largest city is Kinshasa, and her recognized spoken language is French, but Kikongo, Lingala, Chibuba, Arabic, and English are other very popular languages in the country. The DRC's currency is the Congolese franc, and its current president is Felix Chisikedi. DRC tops the list of countries with the most natural resources in the world. Next we have Djibouti, a small country located in the Horn of Africa. Mostly French and Arabic speaking, characterized by dry shrublands, volcanic formations and the Gulf of Island beaches. The population of Djibouti currently stands at 921,804 over a land area of 23,000 square kilometers. The nominal GDP is $2.187 billion and the capital and largest city shares the same name with the country, Djibouti. President Israel Omar Gwele, who is the current president of Djibouti since 1999 and characterized as a dictator, is still seeking re-elections in the upcoming 2021 presidential polls. Djibouti uses the Djiboutian franc as currency and the official languages are Somali and Afar. We now go all the way to Northeast Africa, settling on one of its finest nations, Egypt. Known for millennia-old monuments sitting down the fertile Nile River Valley, including Giza's colonial pyramids and the Great Sphinx, as well as Dugzo's hieroglyphic lined Kanak Temple and the Valley of the King's Storms. Egypt has one of the longest histories of any nation in the world. It has a population of over 100 million, with a GDP of $362 billion. Its capital and largest city is Cairo. Egypt is also the third most populated country in Africa, behind Ethiopia and Nigeria. Egypt's current president is Abdel Fattah El Sisi, and her official languages are Egyptian and Arabic. The currency in use in Egypt is the Egyptian pound. Next up, we have Equatorial Guinea. Equatorial Guinea is a Central African country comprising the Rio Muni mainland with five volcanic offshore islands. Its capital and largest urban city is Malabo on Bioko Island, serving as a hub for its oil industry. The official languages are Spanish, French and Portuguese and the capital city is Malabo. Equatorial Guinea has a population of 1,454,789 with a GDP of $29.162 billion. Chodoro Obiang Nguema Nguasogo is the second president of the country since August 1979. The Central African franc CFA is the currency of this country. Now we get all the way to Eastern Africa and settle on the northeastern Red Sea coast where Eritrea is found. Eritrea is a multi-ethnic country having nine recognized ethnic groups in its population of around six and a half million. They got their independence in 1991 recognizing nine national languages which are Tigrinya, Taiga, Afa, Beja, Bailen, Kunama, Nara and Saho. Tigrinya, Arabic and English serve as the three working languages. The economy of the country has been flourishing in recent years as they've attained a nominal GDP of $8.116 billion. 
as of 2020 ratings. And as such, growth can be attributed to their hard-working president, Isaiah Afwerki. The capital is Asmara and the richest currency is the Nakfa. Still in East Africa, we have Ethiopia, otherwise known as the Federal Democratic Republic of Ethiopia. Ethiopia is a landlocked country in the Horn of Africa, having a total area of 1,104,300 square kilometers. This country has a deep history into wine with Islamic and Christian cultures. Ethiopia has a population of over 109 million people, with a growing nominal GDP of $96 billion. Ethiopia has grown from a formerly poorest nation status to a thriving economic hub in Africa, having major international headquarters such as the seat of the African Union at the capital city Addis Ababa. On 25th December 2018, Saleh Wok Zurde earned the reputation of first female Ethiopian president and has been leading the nation in success. The Ethiopian currency is the beer. Dear Displorers, to continue watching this video, please click on the card on your screen for the part 2.